hey, you found it. It's the therapeutic drive through which is essentially my thoughts on life, love, therapy, mental health, all while I sit in line at the Chick-fil-A drive through <laughs> How did we get here? Well, I'm so glad you asked. Let me tell you how we got to this point. Okay, so I've been in radio for like, you know, 20 plus years and I thought, I'm gonna go back to school. I'm gonna turn that bachelor's degree into a master's degree so I can teach communications at the junior college level. Like I could teach public speaking or all those kind of things because I thought, well, I've been doing this a long time. Well, when I got there, I started taking classes uh, for electives. Like the first one was grief, death, and dying. And I was like, I love this class. This is amazing. And then I realized all the classes I really, really loved were classes that were under the Clinical Mental Health Counseling Master's program. So I decided I would change my major and do that. Hold on just a second. Hi, what's your name for you? Uh, Janet. Janet, all right, what are you doing for you, Janet? Uh, can I get a kid's meal? Absolutely. With, um, uh, yes, with fries, fries and yeah. barbecue sauce, apple juice to drink, apple juice to drink, mm -hmm. gotcha. and a medium iced tea and sweet. Medium and sweet iced tea, absolutely. Anything else for you? Oh, that's it. 764. Have a great one. Thank you, you too. resume. <laughs> so anyway, so I had decided to do that and I was like, oh my goodness, I love these classes in clinical mental health counseling. This is where I need to be. So I decided to change my major. And um, so now at this point, I've had the 60 hours in clinical mental health counseling at the master's level. I've had my 18 hours in communications because by golly, I may still need at some point to um, go teach public speaking at the junior college level. And so basically I've written over 30 10 to 15 page papers to tell you my thoughts and feelings and blah, 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 blah. And um, I also have a pretty nice student loan. We'll talk about that later. But so according to the University of Oklahoma, hashtag boomer, I am officially official with my master's degree in clinical mental health counseling. However, I would like to note, I am not officially official according to the state of Oklahoma because I have yet to take the national counselor's exam. <laughs> so this is not clinical advice. It's just my opinion, right? Okay, so I said all that to say this. Uh, I'm really excited where this you know, new journey in life has taken me because I really think that when you've really hit it on the head and you're doing something you really need to do, you can look back in your life and see every negative thing that has happened to you, every, you know, just gut-riching, sitting on the floor crying thing that's happened to you, how it led you to one moment, because it was also all these wonderful things, all these things where you're like, the only way I'm here is for a miracle, right? Those things led me to this moment as well. And I think all those life experiences come together and I plan on doing some pretty awesome stuff in the counseling world, which is awesome. Which brings me to the topic for our very first therapeutic drive-through is where are you getting your advice from? Uh, are you a TikTok fan? Maybe you're getting cleaning advice from somebody on TikTok, you know, sprayed on all over your counters uh, when their house is really filthy. <laughs> Maybe you're getting financial advice from someone on social media who is flat broke. I want you to be really cognizant, cog, that big word. I want you to be very aware of who you're getting advice from because I think it's important. Many, many years ago, I had a friend named Christy who posted something on Facebook. Yeah, people still use Facebook sometimes. Sometimes they're older. But like I cut it out and I put it in this notebook, which we'll talk at some other time. But I want to tell you what it says because I think it's really, really important. It says, when I was once at an all-time low in my life, my friends that were depressed said I was just fine. My friends that were unhealthy said I looked good. My friends that were miserable said I should just deal. My friends that were jobless said I should settle. My friends that were divorced said I should leave. And my friends that were 
hopeless said this is life the truth is that my friends that were all at the most low in their life were the first ones to give me advice on my life and she finishes it with this if there's anything you remember from the very first episode of the therapeutic drive through sitting in the drive through lane at chick-fil-a i want you to remember this do not take advice from people who have not been where you're headed. Let that sink in one more time. Do not take advice from people who have not been where you're headed. You don't get to the moon by taking advice from somebody who's never left Earth's surface, okay? So keep that in mind. This is the very first therapeutic drive through Yay! Thank you for being here. You know, all the good stuff. Subscribe if you have any questions or you have a topic you want me to cover. Then you got to send me a message and all that kind of good stuff. All right, we're getting to the meal delivery zone. Time to give it your full attention. So there you go. That's the very first therapeutic drive through.